chat. Chat, should we go over it? Chat, should we go over it? Josh Primo speaks. Josh, Josh Primo spoke. Josh Primo spoke. Um, all right. I, I've given my thoughts on this whole situation enough. Um, I thought that it was awful. <laughs> I thought that the NBA is very strange. How Ja, which deservingly, he, he deserves it to, to get the amount of suspensions he gets. But then Josh Primo, like literally the NBA does their own investigations. Like, yeah, he exposed himself to women and he gets like four games. Weird. But maybe they figured, hey, you got punishment enough with the Spurs, like, kicking you off the team. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> he was getting paid, for, like, to not play. I don't. I have no idea. Um, but, yeah. So, these are my predictions, okay? I have not watched this at all. But my predictions are, are this. He's going to come across as mature. And I... Action speaks louder than words at this point. And with the Spurs, he seemed very mature. He, he fooled... Popovich, which, which I think mentally he is mature. I think mentally he is mature. He's, he's pretty mature um, with other aspects. Um, but it, it was, it was uh, a little deceiving at times, I think. Uh, but I think it's going to come across as mature. And I think that most people that don't have like details about the situation, which we'll look at the comments. There's not that many comments on this. Um, I, I think that they're probably going to just be like, ah, oh, you know, let it go or whatever. Because uh, they, they don't no or don't really care or whatever um yeah i don't really trust it at this point so that's me that's my bias going into this i'm not gonna jump into this and like beat up on him and say he's trash screw primo i won't do none of that i'll listen it's gonna be a hard listen no pun intended no pun intended um but yeah all right so let's let's go in let's go ahead and listen here uh let's see Okay. Okay. Um. Hopefully, you guys can hear this. I'll turn. It's just turn the. Well. You probably should be. You should still be able to hear it. All right. Just listen. The one thing I will say is like the Clippers have been very upfront with me. They've been very transparent, just like I've been with them. And the consistency throughout uh, this whole year has been very intense with talking with them. So. He just said this whole year? Dude, this is completely out of place, by the way. This just looks so off, especially since like he was literally um, like the for front runner for the San Antonio Spurs as far as face of the franchise. Um, this is just weird. But he's been talking to the Clippers all year? They're, they feel comfortable with me. I feel comfortable with them at this, at this point in time. But uh, time is only going to tell. Josh, I'm sure you can understand Like a lot of people might be upset about uh, not just what transpired over the past year mm -hmm. with you, but the fact that you are getting this opportunity and the fact that you are already back in the NBA. Uh, you're a public figure. Uh, so how do you, especially, I know you not only... Hold on, you guys can't see his eyes. Hold on, you need to see his eyes, all right? Uh, can I, like... There we go. Oh, I want you guys to... No, that's Kawhi. I want you to at least be able to see his eyes. You only turned 21 in December, right? Like, you're very, you're still a developing person. So, like, how do you kind of prepare yourself to uh, be front facing and accountable about where you're at uh, right now in this position? Yeah, honestly, like, I think while like, everyone, uh, everyone felt like this was a bit alarming, uh, coming for myself, I think it was very alarming. It was very uh, upsetting with these allegations uh, coming out, but I feel like at this point in time, I'm in a better place and I'm gonna continue to get into a better place, but I had to take uh, responsibility for the actions that I that I have going forward. Wow. He is super nerd. This is not the same Josh Primo. That swag that he had with the Spurs, it is not here. His demeanor, um, like the way that he's answering these questions, kind of like fumbling around. This is not the typical Josh Primo I'm accustomed to. Also, he's God, dude, his camp is so confusing. 
Are they not? I mean, on one hand, they say it wasn't intentional. It's just allegations. It didn't happen. It's in their heads, right? Like it's in the women's heads, whatever. Um, but then it's proven by the NBA. The NBA does their investigation. They're like, yeah, it happened. Spurs have said, yeah, it happened. Uh, they settled with one of the victims basically to say, yeah, it happened. Um, and then, but like, and then Primo's camp is like, w nothing happened, but I am receiving therapy with help with the thing that didn't happen. Like, I'm so confused when it comes to this camp. And then he says, I have to take responsibility, but I was really shocked by those allegations. Like, I, I don't, maybe it's just lawyer speak. I don't know. Maybe it's the lawyer in his ear saying, don't say you did anything. I have no idea. It is very strange though. Um, but this is not the same Primo at all, dude. And I know this is a really tough question. And I know you're going to say like, oh, he's so young. Like, obviously he's not like super mature. This is not the same Primo that we're accustomed to. I wonder if I can find, hold on, just for comparison's sake. If I can't, whatever. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it got scraped. Um, let me see if I go to YouTube. And I go to Josh Primo interview. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there there is. I wish there could be a lot more people um, in the stands. I had a lot of, I had a lot of plans. I've been planning for months in Not advance, you guys. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, I mean, the, it's good being the Kobe here, smile, just the knowing that I, I have swag. people that are watching, whether they're watching at home or it, it's just something off. Hold on, there's another one. I think this is the one where a lot of people were like, okay, his demeanor is see is this it they're always being a year younger going into each game that i played so uh going out there today is just another day in the office honestly i think it's probably like third day of training camp you you get used to it uh you realize that pop is a human too and uh, <laughs> you don't have to be perfect around him and that he just wants you to go out there and compete and do your best. I think that's when I started to settle in and know that I belong here. And, and maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me looking too far into it. But I'm just this just doesn't seem like the same primo. I don't know. It could just like I said, it could it could just be me, but that's my opinion. It, it, his his demeanor is not the same. His swag is not there, um, which I mean, should it be? But gosh, the way that he just stumble around this is like, yeah, you know, I got to take responsibility. I was shocked by those allegations, but I got to take responsibility for what happened. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's strange. It's strange. And I understand the interviewer or whatnot. He can't just like blatantly say what, I don't know, sounds arrogant. Well, I mean, I guess in hindsight, you feel like he sounds arrogant. But at the time, we didn't really feel like that. No, he should not act swaggy. Not saying he should. It's just it. it the comparison. This, this is not the same dude. A lot of tongue talk. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Just wanted to bring it to your attention. So he has spoken. Josh Primo has spoken.